Okay.
But I want, I come to let y'all know this afternoon that we serve a God of a second chance. Yes. I come to let you know that God loves each and every last one of us. Despite what we did. The word I want to give you <laughs> today is resiliency. The word is resiliency. To bounce back from adversity. Amen. To bounce back from adversity. If I was to ask each man in here today, how many of y'all really want your families back? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all really wish things to go back to how they used to be back in the day? Yeah. Amen. 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 Even though the Bible says, look forward to the things that are ahead. Never say that yesterday was better than today. What if I was to tell each one of you brothers, man, that God have a ministry for you? You just got to answer your call. Mm. Amen. He didn't bring you here by coincidence because you, what if God gave you everything you deserved? Mm. Uh -oh. mm. If he really gave you everything you deserved. Mm. I already know if he gave me what I deserve, I'd already been in the casket gone. Mm. But by, the, by his love, by his love, I'm still here, baby. Real briefly, man, I want to talk to you all about John, the 10th chapter of John, the 10th verse. If you have your Bibles, if you're not, you can hear it out loud. 10th chapter of John. It says that the thief, remember this thief, the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The thief come to kill, to steal, and destroy. But I come that you may have life and life more abundantly. The thief, the thief, once upon a time in a previous life, I was a thief. But look, I'm not here to glorify criminal addictive excitement. But one thing about my thievery, I would never break into nothing if it wasn't nothing in there. Mm -hmm. If some had to be in the house for me to go get in there, some had to be in the car for me to break up in there. Why would Jesus say the thief? One thing about the thief. Why would he address? I wonder why would Jesus address me like this in this word in this Bible? Is he trying to be funny? Is he trying to call my previous behavior out of? Him? No. What Jesus let us know in this passage, right? And everybody brace yourself. What I'm about to tell you. First, I'm gonna hit you with a question. Why is the thief bothering you? Why every time you seem like you're getting on your feet before you get pulling pulling the steps backwards? Why every time? Why every time you think you're getting on your feet, he's taking from you? More God, more devil, Lord. Mm -hmm. Honestly, one more says, "Steal your glory." What you say, bro? Because he know God have a purpose for he your know life. God has a purpose, yes, sir. You asked that question, you don't ask that myself, right? Uh huh. Because I personally don't know how to yield and take the cover off. Watch this, now. Come on. Because you have something he wants. Oh, my man just took it out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to blow y'all mind with this. I had to ask the question. Well, why you keep taking everything from me? Why I keep relapsing? Why I keep going through the same channels? Why am I falling? Why does I keep getting manipulated? Go back out there and use. Why? Hello. Now, check this out, man. Just like my boy said. See, the thief know you possess it. Don't y'all know the thief knows that when, hey, you submit your will to God, things change? Mm -hmm. Don't you know the thief knows once you finally stand up and be the man you're supposed to be and, and, and give God his praise? Because Jesus said, I come that you may have life and life more abundantly. I'm not going to lie to you since I submit my will to God. Man, I still have troubles. But I learned how to cry it out and keep moving. Because once I cry, you better get out of the way. I learned how to cry it out and keep keep going. Now, this is what took me out about us as a people. See, a lot of us, that's the reason why we're still fighting in the firehouse. We're mad about this, mad about that, when you're only mad about yourself. Uh, yeah, you're only mad about yourself. See, one thing I tripped out about when I was going through my struggles, I fight any one of y'all because I wanted to blame you, but it was me. 
Anytime you see two, two men about to fight inside the firehouse, they really mad with themselves. Mm. Because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But what tripped me out is, I was quick to fight any man, but I wouldn't even fight for my own life. Mm -hmm. Jesus give us this motivational package. I mean, I said package. He give us this motivational text. Hopefully, hopefully that you'll catch it. That the reason why the thief keeps stealing everything and keep killing everything because he know that once you submit your will, once you get your mind together, once you get everything right, bro, you get that big house, you get that family, get that car, and the family you lost gone, you get another one. Maybe I'm just by myself. Hey, I could buy a tape myself. If that was a tape, that was enough for me. Even if you lost one family, you got another one for you. Amen? Amen. I mean, real talk, because it's time to get off the sadness and the sad looks. We have to be thankful for at least one thing. Lord, I thank you for just still keeping me alive, because I should have been dead. Could have been dead. Just this week, when somebody was stabbed and thrown off the building, what all that's about? 17-year-old boy shot in one area, dead in another area. But see, God, see, and thank God for places like the firehouse because he can he see fit and have somewhere for us to go. See, what we fail to realize is people, and see, this is a place where the thief really can't get to you like that because there's no other place in America, man, that you can come and get yourself together. There are so many people who would love to just get a few days, man, a few days of rest and some sleep, Man, just to get some thoughts together, but they know they have to keep going. Mm -hmm. I come to encourage you that today, man, it's time to fight for your own life. Stop fighting for other folks. Fight for your own life. Call that devil a lie. Punch it out. But yet, hold on. You don't have to go use today. You don't have to keep throwing it away. Don't let that enemy manipulate you and, 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 and continue to keep you in the same position. I told you, within the next few years, I'm on the ground. I'm calling you. Yeah, you can throw that line to the to give to him in need. And let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. That which is good for the end time of the Easter Saints. Amen. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. So, if I was to go around the room, Choice. if I got a motivational topic, man, are you, you pointing on there? Choice. Anybody got anything to say? Is anybody glad today of your months of living? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on, brother. Good to see you. Come on with me. Oh, man, just want to give honor to God who's the head of my life and just thank him for this day. For this day. What he has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to go man. Amen. Amen. No doubt. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Any more words? Come on, baby. Amen. Amen. Well, the song says, so we can close out this group so I know we got another group ahead. I just like to come in and, and hit the punchline and go. Yeah. I don't believe hold on about a hospital. Hold on about a hold you like two hours. Talk about, you know what I mean? The word is good, no doubt, no doubt, but I don't believe hold nobody hostage. One thing about the recovery in the group, hey, start on time, we'll end on time. Sometimes before time. You know what I mean? Because I do understand what we're going through. They say a Super Bowl Sunday. Now one of those teams like, aren't my team, so I don't. <laughs> I'm just. I don't even watch. I got to go to work. Amen. I got to go to work. And y'all understand that. I want to tell you, I work down here at Etheridge Brothers on 3rd Avenue. Feel free to come in and see me at any time. So I'll be down here every day, Tuesday through Saturday. <laughs> Some of y'all already know that. Right there. Etheridge Brothers. So anytime you have a word of encouragement, you want to read a scripture, pray about this thing. Come, come talk to me. Please don't bring me no negativity. I will ignore you. I don't live. Negativity causes cancer. Mm. Negativity causes cancer. And, and so before you think I'm so such and much, 20 years ago, I sat in the same seat. Yeah, 20 years ago. And, this, and I'm just coming back to give it back. Just so I can keep it. <clears throat> I come back to see my people. My man will tell you I go to Salvation Army on Tuesday night. I do parole board Mondays and Wednesday. Yeah, it's the ministry. The only thing we ask, uh, to memorize that, man, when God bless you, come back and give it back so somebody else will know that it do work. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
The song says, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. How many of y'all thank you for real? Come on now. Come on. One more time.